Hello, I'm at Super Judge. Now we're, we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, For as touching the ministering to the saints. Now there is such a thing as the ministering to the saints. See, what does that mean? It means ministering to God's people. See? Now, when you know that God is your source, you will see it's natural, it's just going to flow. You realize that you're involved in ministering to the saints. Now, what does it mean to minister to the saints? You realize that whenever God blesses you, you, you find out that you're giving money to someone, see, especially God's children. Now, now this, this doesn't mean you neglect your family. No, that's wrong, see. You, you don't, see, you, you need to understand this. I, I pray we enter into the details of this thing, but get this. You just realize that your money goes to God's people. See? Now, do you know, truly, when you study concerning tithing, even from the Old Testament part of the Bible, when you study concerning tithing, you realize that what was on God's mind when he gave the instruction of tithing, it is to meet God's people, to meet their needs, to minister to God's people. That's exactly what, what it was all about. It was not, nobody, nobody ever took his tithes to God and said, God, see my tithe too. And then now stands aside and wait for fire to come and consume the tithe. No, nobody ever did that. Not even Abraham. See, when Abraham gave tithes to Melchizedek, you know, some people don't understand this. You know, so, so, so what did Melchizedek did, do with all the tithe? Melchizedek didn't take a dime from that money. You know what Melchizedek did? He told Abraham what to do with that money. And what did he tell Abraham to do with that money? He told him to share some to his servants. He told him to share some to some people that have helped him in the battle and had helped him to give him um, accommodation where to stay. That's exactly what God told Abraham to do with the tithe. Now, when you study scriptures, when Moses gave them the laws concerning tithing, you realize, see, first of all, um, Moses told them that there is a part of the tithe that you bring to the Levites. See, if the Levites come to receive, there's a specific kind of tithe that God says the Levites should get. And then there is a certain kind of tithe that God said, this one, you don't eat it in your house. You must take it out of your house and go to the place that I will show you. And you and your household will sit down there and eat it. And then there is a tithe that God, they, 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 they had the year of tithing. See, and on the year of tithing, that year, you, you don't pay your tithe anyhow. You keep your tithe till the end of the year. Now, at the end of the year, you bring out all your tithe outside of your gates. And then the, the widows, the strangers, the Levites, the fatherless, they come there to take whatever they need. Now, these are all the instructions that go. You know, years ago, I was fellowshipping with the Lord and I realized that because the Lord taught me something. The Lord said, you know, the Lord actually taught me about tithing. And then he said, you know what? The tithe belongs to me, but my children don't give it to me. So I'm like, how? <laughs> but, but we all give tithe in church. He said, no. You give it in church doesn't mean you're giving it to me. And then the Lord asked me a very important question. He says, am I dumb? I said, no. So the Lord said, if, if the tithe belongs to me, if you believe the tithe belongs to me, then why don't you ask me what you should do with it? And then I thought about it. I said, very true. Yeah, very true. This money belongs to the Lord. And then we're giving it without asking him. So we just give him, assuming when we take it to church, God is getting it. And then the Lord says, no, you need to ask me. So I began to practice that several years ago. I began to practice that, you know, when I have my tithe, I'll take it to the Lord. i say, Lord, thank you for blessing me. Now, here's my tithe. I'm, I'm holding on to it until you tell me what you want me to do with it. And then the Lord begins to give the instruction. And then I realize that the instructions are not one. It's not like you giving your tithe to this ministry or to this minister. I realize the Lord, sometimes the Lord will say, give it to so, so, and so. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And then I'll give it to the person. And then there's a miracle. You know, the person says, do you know, I've just been expecting this. Then I realized for a while. And then to different people like that. And I began to question, question and ask the Lord. I said, Lord, 
I need to understand what's going on here. Do you know that's when the Lord took me through the scriptures, even in the Old Testament part of the Bible? And I realized all this. I said, whoa, nobody taught us this. <laughs> Praise God. Nobody told us all these things. But you see, I began to practice it before I even understood what I was doing from scriptures. And then when I saw that, it became so, I mean, it became so great a blessing in my heart. And, and, and I, listen, oh, I wish I can tell you testimonies. Listen, do this and you will see the result. Praise God. So, so how are we supposed to be tied? It's very simple. Ask the owner of the money what you should do with it. And someone say, what if he doesn't talk to me? Then does he talk to you? <laughs> It's God. I told you, you know, I told you in December when we were sharing with you, I said, if you don't hear the voice of God, you're in big disadvantage. You need to work on it. You need to. And I've taught you several things concerning that, how to hear and understand the voice of God. Go look for the, go on YouTube, subscribe, you know, so you can go check for all the videos and, and select those titles and listen to them over and over and trust the Spirit of God. He will help you. Praise God. So it's his money. The tithe is his money. So when anyone tells you, don't tithe, they are telling you, rob God. See? So what is God trying to do? He is trying to get you to minister to the saints. And that's what he said here. See, it's part of the thing Christians do. They minister to the saints. But listen, who's in control of this ministry? Not a man. It's not me that will tell you who to give your money to. No, 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 no. It's the Spirit of God that will tell you. Let me tell you this. Oh, the Lord told me this and it blessed me. He said, son, when I tell you who to give your tithes to and you obey, it means I have received that money. That closed it up for me. Praise God. I hope this blessed you greatly. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.